Hey, welcome to my curls. I wanted to share with you all um, a conversation I had with my mother earlier this week. It was pretty enlightening. My mother has never been for my going gray. The my mother is 74. She still colors her hair a very dark brown and she goes to the salon like every four weeks to get this done and i swear i'm not exaggerating is there for like four hours my mother has super short hair it's like this all over her head and why in the world she is there for four hours i will never know but she is so she has never been for me going gray and when I told her that I was going to stop coloring my hair, was going to go gray, she was silent. Like she said nothing. And I'm like, Mom, what do you think about that? She just said, I don't know why in the world you want to do that. Why in the world would you want to have gray hair, Renee, is all she would ever say to me. I took my mother out of town to a doctor's appointment the other day. So we were together the entire day. So while we were sitting in the waiting room at the doctor's office, I decided that would be a fantastic time for me to ask her some questions about what she thought about my gray hair. And all she would say was, well, it's not as bad as I expected it to be. Those are her thoughts on my gray hair. But then she noticed throughout the day, everywhere we went, so many people would compliment me on my hair. Nurses and doctors and just random strangers in the lobby of the hospital waiting room would just come up to me and say, I like your hair. I love your hair. And, and she picked up on that. And by the end of the day, she said, I just cannot get over how many people said something to you about your hair. She, she was just couldn't believe it. And so she asked me, why did I do that? Why did I decide to go gray? And this is what I told her. So I'm going to share it with you. The, the main reason that I decided to go gray at 48, because I was just so sick of spending all of that time at the salon. Every four weeks, I was at the salon getting my hair colored. I was having to do root touch up in between colors just all the time and all the money that I was spending. I hated the chemicals being on my scalp. They just, they irritated my scalp. They made my head itch. It just, I hated everything about it. Every little process that I had to go through to keep my hair colored, I hated it. So that was really the number one reason. The second reason was the damage that had been done to my hair from all the coloring over the years had really affected my curls. The last probably five years that I colored my hair, my curl pattern and the hair around my face was so damaged that I had to curl my curls with the curling iron. Now what sense does that make? This hair right around in here was so just fried and frayed and damaged and coarse and yuck from all the chemicals and the hair dye that it just would not curl. So I would have to curl it with a curling iron to get the curls to go along with the rest of my head. And I could see that as time went on, the hair was just more and more damaged. I was having to curl it with more heat and more often and it was just a never-ending cycle that I saw no way out of and so that was really the second main reason that I decided to stop coloring my hair. The third reason is something that I've mentioned in some other videos but it was something that I could never really put my finger on to explain it to myself and I certainly probably can't explain it to you either but when I was coloring my hair, I never felt like myself. I would look in the mirror and I would see somebody different. I did not see the woman that I felt like inside. And it was just the hair color did something to me. It made me look shallow, 
the, the, the color tones just weren't right. It didn't matter how much playing around I did with the hair color that I was using. It never was right. It didn't match my skin or something. I just, I still to this day can't put my finger on it other than just to say when I had colored hair, I did not look like myself and I did not feel like myself. So that was always an underlying motivation for going gray, getting rid of the hair dye. Another reason is because of my curly hair. When I was growing up, other than my sister, I really didn't know anybody with curly hair. So I always would try to hide my curls or straighten my curls. I would do a big round brush to try to pull the curls out of my hair when I was in high school. I actually got it cut kind of short when I was in middle school thinking that would help me deal with the curls and it really didn't. I just did not know how to deal with them. But because I had curly hair and I've had to learn to deal with all of these curls, I've realized over the years that the curls have always made me unique. They really have defined me and my appearance throughout my life. So when I was deciding to stop coloring my hair and I could see the gray really starting to come out, it was just another factor that made me unique. So I sort of embraced it from the very beginning and that was one of the reasons that I decided to go gray was simply the unique factor because I don't know anybody in my town that is has gray hair there. I see a couple of ladies, um, but not many. And certainly not ladies of my age. I'm 48. So it was just really a factor about being unique. I guess the main reason that I decided to go gray is to do something for myself. And I know that's funny because most people think that when you want to do something for yourself, you go color your hair. But for me, doing something for myself was giving up and letting go something that I absolutely hated doing. Um, some people may argue that it made me look better and at the time I was doing it I thought it made me look better but now that I don't have that colored hair anymore and I have the gray I really feel like I look better now than I did with the fake hair color so I needed to do it for me. I needed to free myself of something that was so much of a burden and something that I truly hated doing. I hated everything about it. So in the conversation with my mother, when I was explaining these reasons to her, she understood why I decided to go gray and we talked about all of my reasons, but she still is like, mm, Renee, I don't think I like it. She tolerates it. She doesn't say much about it but she doesn't love it. And she will be one of those ladies that dyes her hair until the end. If you've started your transition or if you have gray hair, what is the main reason that you decided to go gray? Was it the time in the salon? Was it the money? Was it, what was it? Let me know, comment below and let me know why you decided to go gray. I would love to hear from you. So I hear, the lawn guys outside. Uh, they're going to be loud, so I'm going to get off of here, and I'll see y'all next time.